Support Authority of Valencia, within its environmental policy framework, is carrying out a series of environmental measures in order to incorporate the best technologies and environmental initiatives. Within the field of eco-efficiency energy initiatives, worthy of mention are the development of projects that improve the energy efficiency of facilities, equipment and operations. In this way, aligning themselves with the goals of reducing energy demand and greenhouse gases and thus helping in the fight against climate change by finding and implementing solutions that minimize greenhouse gas emissions originating from port activities. Ecologistipod. The Ecologistipod project began in 2009 for the environmental training of port logistics SMEs in the Valencian community. The project was funded by the European Social Fund through the Biodiversity Foundation in its Green Jobs program and the Polytechnic University of Valencia in collaboration with the Port Authority of Valencia and the Packaging, Transport and Logistics Research Centre. Its focus was the development of several actions aimed at small and medium enterprises in the port logistics sector and especially their workers, with the aim of improving their skills for the implementation of environmental management systems and energy efficiency systems. Through these actions, the companies improve the training of their employees through meetings and specific courses, such as waste identification and management, as well as improved energy consumption information of its facilities by carrying out audits. The most significant results were savings of up to 15% in consumption by implementing improvements in different facilities, and facilitating the implementation of the Ecoport Guide on Environmental Management in all 40 participating companies to obtain certification for their environmental management and energy systems. Eficont. In 2009, the Eficont Energy Efficiency in Container Port Terminals project begins, funded by the National R&D&I Plan by the Ministry of Development, to improve the effectiveness and energy efficiency of transport terminals, and in which nine institutions and research centres took part. Its aim was to integrate a number of significant improvements in energy efficiency, operational planning and management in the current model of the exploitation of the Port of Valencia container port terminals, by reducing CO2 consumption and emissions and reducing the cost of operations, therefore improving the competitiveness of these terminals. To this end, various consumption diagnoses were performed at the terminals, fuel consumption for each type of machinery, electricity consumption and consumption in offices. Furthermore, the consumption of RTGs and key cranes operating in different situations were analysed. At the same time, a system of energy efficiency indicators were designed to measure and prioritise the exploitation of terminals and various action plans were developed based on energy efficiency criteria, including the automation of access doors, RTG's electrification, saving systems for terminal tractors, layout of storage area and yard management and stacking, electric spreaders, installation of solar collectors, skylights, LED lighting, as well as the implementation of SCADA type management systems. Climeport. In 2009, the Climeport project for Mediterranean Ports' contribution to climate change mitigation began, funded by the European Union through the MED program and led by the Port Authority of Valencia and the participation of the ports. The project objective was the development of an inventory of greenhouse gases from the different port activities, taking into account wheel traffic inside the port area as well as emissions from ships during their stay in port. 
The first calculation of the carbon footprint of the participating ports was carried out. In the case of the Port of Valencia, it served to verify its own carbon footprint. In addition, an inventory was obtained and an assessment of good practices was made with the aim of reducing greenhouse gases in the ports. Enhancements in consumption information, energy saving measures and investments in more efficient facilities were implemented. In the areas of mobility, in terminal lighting, roads and offices and also in machinery and equipment which have led to savings of up to 25% in consumption and emissions. All this has led to improved energy management on behalf of port operators through the implementation of energy management systems according to ISO 50001. This has led to significant reductions in emissions and the Port of Valencia carbon footprint, obtaining a reduction of 14.7% in the period 2008 to 2012. Green Cranes In 2012, the Green Cranes project for eco-efficient alternatives for cranes and operations at port container terminals began. Funded by the European Union through the Transport Network Programme and led by the Port Authority of Valencia, the project aims to demonstrate the viability of new technologies and alternative fuels by developing pilot projects in container terminals to provide decision criteria and recommendations that will permit policy development at an EU level and decision-making by the port logistics industry. Throughout the project, both electricity and fuel consumptions were calculated from the different equipments working in the container terminals. The main consumers were identified and measures to reduce consumption were studied, which consisted in the evaluation of eco-efficient alternatives and their application to each port machinery. The alternatives studied were use of natural gas in terminal tractors, use of alternative fuels in reach stackers, application of alternative energy sources in RTG cranes such as electrification, natural gas or power reduction, implementation of energy saving systems in the terminals, implementation of energy management systems. A financial, technical and environmental evaluation was performed on all the alternative applications to vouch for their implementation. Finally, a prototype terminal tractor powered by natural gas was built, which received many accolades during its presentation. Environmental and Eco-Efficiency Guides In recent years, the Port Authority of Valencia has developed the Good Environmental Practice Guides and the E4 Port Guide for the tiered implementation of energy management systems in port facilities in collaboration with the Polytechnic University of Valencia. The Good Environmental Practice Guides have been put together with the aim of promoting the best environmental practices and to promote sustainability criteria in the port areas managed by the Port Authority of Valencia. The guides have been prepared in the following way. Efficiency Guide in Waste Generation, in which action mechanisms for the minimization and management of waste are established. Efficient Use of Water Guide, where eco-efficiency criteria are established for a better use of this resource. Energy Eco-Efficiency, where action guidelines for the optimization of this resource in equipment, facilities and vehicles are established. Eco-efficiency in the use of materials in the execution of works, prioritizing the use of recycled and ecological materials, and establishing mechanisms for the reuse of building materials. Guide for the preparation of an inventory of greenhouse gases, where guidelines for measuring CO2 emissions derived from the activities and transportation of employees are established. The E4 Port Guide provides a specific methodology 
for assessing the significant energy aspects applied to port activities and also the development of a management model on three levels for the implementation of energy management systems for operating companies and providers of port services in line with current reference standards. Green birth. In 2013, the Green Birth project begins. The promotion of Port Communities SME's role in energy and green technologies in port vessel operations. Co-financed by ERDF, European Regional Development Fund, which is part of the Transnational MET program and led by the Port Authority of Valencia. The main objective of this project is to encourage the access of SMEs to the opportunities offered by the port sector to implement solutions to improve energy management and the implementation of renewable energy with a focus on port ship operations. The Greenbirth project with a duration of 30 months, January 2013 to June 2015, meets its objectives of promoting and encouraging energy efficiency through the development of numerous actions in the development of methodologies and the evaluation of the best technologies to be implemented by the ports, with special attention to its various activities. Besides the technical component, it has boosted economic development and promoted employment, emphasizing the important role of SMEs in the assessment, definition, design, implementation, monitoring, maintenance and analysis of the best technologies. The Green Birth project has two main components, one, energy efficiency, and the other, low carbon technologies. Regarding energy efficiency, the following actions have been carried out. Report on the current status of the ports. A preliminary study has been prepared that has revealed the major needs and interests of ports regarding energy. The main role of SMEs was also analyzed related to energy issues, assessing their participation in the port sector. Strategic energy plans. Through the design of the strategic plans of the six participating ports, two areas of influence in the Mediterranean have been marked out, evaluating possible differences between East and West. These plans have highlighted good practices to be implemented with the aim of resource consumption savings and reducing greenhouse gases in the short, medium and long term. Greenbirth LinkedIn the use of social networks has promoted and facilitated the access of SMEs in the port sector through the creation of a forum in order to propose innovative solutions that will save energy in port activities with the aim of giving added value to the results. To this end, this group was created to share information, getting known and therefore promote networking between port companies, SMEs, universities, research centers, etc. Regarding the second aspect of the project focused on the development of clean technologies framed within WP4, a series of tasks on the best technology available and their viability in ports has been prepared. In this WP, the activities have been Technology validation and transferability Through detailed assessment of different technologies, in the case of the Port of Valencia, 13 technologies have been evaluated, all using the same environmental, economic, legal and social criteria. In this particular example, it resulted in the implementation of LNG and power supplies in the port. However, this action allows the ports to approach the design of the pilot project that is being executed as project closure. Pilot Design and Implementation Throughout the know-how learned in the previous phases of the project, the ports have defined the pilot projects to be developed in three areas. 1. Port machinery. 2. Cruise liners and ferries. And 3. Port services. 